Ladies and gentlemen, the ranking lecture is widely viewed as the most prestigious of the invited lecture in geotechnics. It uh, commemorates William Jones Malcolm Ranking, professor of civil engineer at Glasgow University, who was one of the first engineers in the UK to make a significant contribution to the soil mechanics. He is uh, the best known for his uh, theory for the earth pressure on the retaining wall. He was born 19, 18, 1820 and died 1872, before our uncle Ho was born. <laughs> yes. The ranking lecture is held in March each year. In even numbered years, the lecture is from the UK. In odd number of years, the lecture is from outside of the UK. Each lecture is usually published in Geotechnic, is the most well-known uh, journal in Geotechnic. This year, the ranking lecture 56, Geotechnic and Engineers, was given in London by Professor Richard Jardine from UK. This is uh, the first time the ranking lecture was, uh, is given in Vietnam. Not only once, this time the lecture is presented twice in Vietnam, uh, 10 days ago in Ho Chi Minh City, and today in Hanoi. Uh, it's, it's our great honor for our society and for our country also. Professor Richard Jardin is a professor in geomechanics at the Imperial College. London. His research covers offshore geotechnics, soil characterizations, field instrumentation, soft ground engineering, geohazard, and climate change impact. He is a fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering, the ICE, and the City and Build Institute. He was a work as a visiting professor in Singapore. Japan and China. He has published over 200 papers and won 17 UK and international research prizes. Professor Richard Jardin has given many talks, including the Geotechnics, Cologne, James, Bishop, and Shower Lectures. After long periods of preparations we have today in our society, uh, uh, big event, the 56th ranking lecture in Hanoi. The event was organized by uh, BSSMG and the National University of Civil Engineers. The organization is actively supported, include uh, uh, Teleco company and Hyundai company and Ficon. Please let us open this outstanding event with a big alarm. Please. Thank you very much. Uh, well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to be here in Hanoi to deliver, again, the ranking lecture. And the theme of my lecture, as you will see, is geotechnics and energy. Now, this subject was suggested to me after the work of uh, Professor Carlos Santamarina, and he showed us that energy use per capita correlates very strongly with good life. We can see the more energy we use, the longer we live, the fewer of our children die young, and many other facets of our life get better. The problem, though, is that 85% of our energy comes from fossil fuel. And we now know that that fossil fuel creates large amounts of carbon dioxide. For every uh, kilogram, uh, for every kilowatt hour, we generate with coal, we generate one kilo of carbon dioxide, running down to half of that when we burn gas. So we now know internationally that this is unsustainable for our society and for our environment. So we have to do something about it. This is an energy conundrum that would have appealed very much to Rankin. Rankin himself would have realized that energy demand is growing by 20% per decade, particularly as countries such as Vietnam 
increase their living standard, and catch up with rich countries like Europe. So what is imperative is for us then to allow for this expansion of life quality, but also it's imperative that we cut our greenhouse gases. So we have a challenge, and it is an engineering challenge and a societal challenge. There are conflicting demands, and what I will do this afternoon is show you some contributions that my group has been making over the recent decades. 